Alright, so today we have 2015 favorites. I'm super far away from the camera and the mic sounded really staticky in the last video. We'll figure it out eventually. So I have a whole box of stuff right here to show you guys. I went through all of my Raves and Rejects videos from the year and also just thought about what I've been using the most this year. I didn't do like categories and try and pick a product in each category. I literally just picked my favorite products from the year and we're going to talk about them. Whew. Didn't breathe that whole time. When I'm filming this, it's January 1st, but this video probably won't be up for a couple weeks. Yeah, just looking through my phone last night, like looking through all the pictures from the year, this was a really good year. I just want to say thank you guys for being a huge part of it. Hashtag Bayritos. So getting into the products, let's start out with this. My first favorite of 2015 is the It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. This is my most used contour palette. You can see this shade here. I hit pan. This is what I use almost every single day to contour. If I'm not using this, I'm using a bronzer, which I'll show you next. Palette is great if you have pale skin. If you have deeper skin tone, there's a darker shade right here. Just super versatile. You can use this shade right here for your eyeshadow, like in your crease. A lot of the times, I'll use this for my eyeshadow when I'm going to work and I'm just in a rush. Gotta blend real quick. This highlight shade is beautiful. This highlight shade is one of those products where whenever I use it again, I wonder why I ever stopped using it because it is so pretty. It gives you the prettiest light pink white glow to your face. It is beautiful. I feel like this is a totally underrated product. If you haven't picked this up yet and you need a good contour palette, go for it. Every product that I mention is going to be linked in the description box so you guys can check it out. So my favorite bronzer of 2015 is the Body Shop Honey Bronze in 01. Heard of this from Holly Eats Lipstick. If you have pale skin, you need this as a bronzer. Even if you don't have pale skin, buy this in a different shade because the formula of this is so nice. For a bronzer, it blends out effortlessly. By the way, if you see like marks right here, it's from my hot pack at night. They're not hickeys. We can all calm down. By far, favorite mascara of life, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm wearing it right now. I don't have falsies on. There's something about this bristle and this formula that just separates your lashes so nicely. It makes them look really full and almost like fluttery and wispy. This is totally worth the $24 to me or whatever it is. I will continue to repurchase this. I have like two backups right now and it is the best. This is definitely a favorite this year. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Makeup Extender Setting Spray. I used to be a diehard Urban Decay all-nighter. Uh, this has totally replaced it. It's about half the price of Urban Decay setting sprays. I love the finish that it gives my skin. It sets the powder into my face really nicely. I think I've gone through probably like eight to ten bottles of this this year. If you're going to try it out, wait till L'Oreal goes on sale because the drugstore just rotates around their brands and you can get this at like 40% off. Favorite foundation. This is a fucking challenging to pick out. Out of all makeup on planet Earth, foundation is my favorite thing to play around with and try out new products. There are definitely other foundations this year that I loved just as much as the ones I'm about to mention, but that could be a whole other review. So these are basically just standout products that I found in 2015 that I think everyone should try. So the first one is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation in 091 Light Ivory. I did a whole separate review on this, which I'll link in the description box. Such an amazing drugstore foundation. The finish of this is super similar to the Dior, what was that called? I think it was called Superstar? Star Foundation? Star. That sounds right. Natural skin-like finish. It literally looks like it melts into your skin. You can barely tell you're wearing foundation, but it has great coverage. I would wear this working out, doing Jillian Michaels. This shit does not come off. I am 99.9% .9 sure that this foundation really horribly breaks me out. I still wanted to include it because if you don't have sensitive acne prone skin, this could be your new favorite foundation. It is amazing. I still sometimes wear it, hoping that it doesn't break me out. I also have a full review on this. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I feel like I had to mention this in this video because I just feel like this foundation deserves its own award. I applaud the Makeup Forever labs for coming up with this formula. It is a stick foundation, but when you put it on, it blends out so effortlessly. It has amazing coverage. Definitely can get this to full coverage. The shade is perfect for me. It's 115. I was just super impressed by this foundation. If you have oily skin, this isn't for you. This definitely is something that I need to set on my face or else it does get pretty oily throughout the day. But for wearing for short periods of time or if you're under a camera, or if you're going to be going to an event or something like that, this is a beautiful foundation. My last foundation I wanted to mention is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination 
cream. I call this a foundation because it is a full coverage cream. It doesn't break me out at all when I wear this. I feel like this actually helps my acne. This has SPF 50 in it, which is a bonus. I have the shade Fair. It isn't quite light enough on its own, which is the only downside for me. I feel like I would wear this every single day if it was half a shade to a shade lighter. I do have to mix this in with something to be light enough for my skin tone, but this is basically like my go-to mixer with products because it is full coverage, it has a beautiful finish, it's not the longest lasting on my skin. It does have a really illuminating dewy finish. If you don't like illuminating products, they do make a normal non-illuminating version of this. Favorite concealer this year, hands down, oh there's a long hair, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I have the shade Fair Neutral. I feel like this is going to be in so many people's 2015 favorites because this is the best concealer I've ever tried. <laughs> this is all you need. Full coverage, creamy, does increase, stays on all day. Honestly, the highlighter from here is definitely a favorite of the year. And then my other one is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. My top is actually like fallen out. Classy. I mentioned this because this is one of those products that I will never get sick of. I'm wearing it today as a highlight on my cheekbone. And it has the prettiest subtle glow. This is perfect if you're going to work where you don't want a super intense highlight. This is in the shade Light Scapade, which is perfect if you have pale skin. It's subtle enough where it looks natural, but where you still look like you have a really nice glow going on. You can also layer this, build up the product. I have a few favorite lip products of the year. The first, you could probably guess if you've been watching my videos for a while. This is the Milani uh, Matte Naked Matte color statement. What were these called? Matte Naked such a pretty lipstick shade. I don't think I've ever gotten more questions about my lipstick shade in real life than when I wear this lipstick. There was a phase this year where I wore this lipstick every single day for about three months to work. Perfect brown nude shade. Doesn't wear off weird throughout the day where you have like nothing on the inside of your lips. You can get these at the drugstore for around $6. Next product is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Midi. Debating putting this in here, but honestly it was one of the most worn products of the year. The formula for me, I have such mixed feelings on these. If you want to know my full thoughts on the ColourPop Liquid Lipsticks, I have a full review. They're very, very drying. But for being so reasonably priced and having so many different good shades, Midi is just the perfect nudie pink shade. If I'm not wearing the matte naked shade to work, it's this. Last favorite lip product of the year is the LA Splash Smitten Lip Tint Mousse waterproof. This is in the shade Inflame. This is my favorite red shade of the year by far. When I want a long-lasting red lipstick, this is what I go for. I'm kind of a liquid lipstick hoarder. I have a whole half a drawer dedicated to liquid lipsticks. It's moisturizing, it dries down, it doesn't wear off weird in the middle of your lips. If you're gonna try it out, make sure you get the Smitten Lip Tint Mousse. That took a while to say. It's their best formula in my opinion, and these are pretty affordable. This was definitely one of my favorite skincare products that I discovered this year. This is the Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. I mentioned this in a Raisin Rejects video at the very beginning of the year. I still have been using it almost every single night. There was a phase for a couple months where I stopped using this. My concealer started creasing under there, my under eyes started getting super dry, and I went back to using this stuff and my under eyes feel great. You need the tiniest bit so this jar will last you forever. A Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Version. I raved about this a couple months ago. This is in the shade Translucent. It's just a translucent pressed setting powder that is the best translucent pressed setting powder you will ever try. Makes your face look freaking flawless. Literally makes your skin look like a doll's. It has a matte finish obviously, but it doesn't make your face look cakey at all. It looks like your skin is airbrushed. It is beautiful. I feel like I'm almost gonna hit pan on this and I'm excited for that day to come. 2015 was the year of face masks for me. I only am including one in this video because I am gonna be doing a whole other favorite face mask video. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Face Mask. This is my favorite. I've gone through two of these. This is my third. This is great if you have acne prone or blemished skin. Blemished? Skin. I leave this on for about an hour and I'll use this about twice a week. Freaking love the smell of tea tree. Like I could sit here and smell this all day. It smells so fresh and it has this cooling effect when you put it on. I feel like it just gets all of the crap out of my skin. Okay, we only have a few products left. This is the Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. I actually like the Express, like three day Express I think it's called, version more, but I haven't been able to find it at my drugstore. I have to order it on Amazon. This is a bomb whitening toothpaste. 
I used to use the Crest 3D White. This is so much better. I think I started using this because Samantha Sherman uses it and she has freaking white teeth. When I first started using this, I totally noticed a difference in the first week. My teeth looked whiter. I feel like it really helps to get off the stains on your teeth if you're a coffee or a tea drinker. My favorite perfume was the Burberry Brit perfume. I got this a little over a year ago and I started using it because my first roommate when I moved to Seattle wore this perfume and it was one of those perfumes that people would always stop and ask what it was. It has such a unique scent. I've used about half of the bottle so far. I wear this to work. I wear this on the weekend. I love this. It smells super mature to me, but not in like a grandma way. Last favorite of 2015 is the Sally Hirschberger Glam Waves Foam Loose Sexy Curves Style Shaper. That is quite the name. This is basically a foam that you put in your hair when it's damp. You scrunch it up. I braid my hair at night and then when I wake up I have normal non-frizzy waves. If you're looking for a good curl product that isn't going to make your hair crunchy, go with this stuff. You can get it at the drugstore. It smells so good. I love the smell of this. I wish they made this in like a candle. That was all of my favorite things of 2015. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your guys' favorites were because I'm curious. If you guys liked this video and it was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up so I know. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. And I'm really feeling this foundation combo right now. I'm still recording.